All right, so now you have an online business. You might be legitimate. You have the name, you secured the domain, you have the social media account. Now what? So this is kind of the next big pain point and struggle that my students go through is they know that God has called them to this. They know that God has called them to lead and to teach or to host or to serve, build, whatever this thing is, right? This online business. And they've done the the behind the scene work. Like they've done this, the checklist, they've done the guide. And now it's like, okay, now what do I do? Like I have this big dream, I have this goal, like I want to do this big thing, but what's my next step? Today's video is going to be all about what the next most important thing to focus on after you have kind of met with the Lord, secured the name of what this this thing is, you've, you've got your vision together. Now this next part is going to be nothing to do with you and what you want to do and everything to do with the who that God has called you to help. I think where um, most business owners and most ministry leaders mess up is they focus on themselves. They focus on the big, big vision and how they are going to accomplish it and how they are going to financially financially benefit, um, when, how they're going to do it and all the things. But what, what, what most of them miss is this video that I'm going to teach about right here. And that every single thing you build, you teach on, you create, you sell, you preach, every single thing has to come from your person's goals and what they want out of life and your person person's struggles and what problems they have in life. Those two things. That's the secret to making sure this ministry and this business is actually going to flourish and not fail before it even starts. I'm the first one who are, who's going to say that like building a brand is awesome. Having a beautiful website is attractive and great. Going up a hundred times a day on social media is awesome. Good for you. But none of that can flourish and succeed and do well if you aren't focusing and really honing in to your people, your people group the ones on the other side of the screen, the ones who will attend your event. You have to nail down their number one, what they want out of life, their goals. Where do they want to be in one year, five year, 10 years? And how can you help them get there? And number two, what are they dealing with? What are their pain points and struggles? What kind of obstacles do they come up with every single day that's preventing them from getting to their goal? That is the two things that you have to have in the forefront of your mind every single day of your business or ministry and everything that you build and create the YouTube videos that you make, the podcasts that you create, the online digital resources that you create, the freebies, the, the retreats, everything has to come from what they want and what their struggles are. And you are simply the guide to get them to that goal, the guide to get them out of the muck of their struggle to chase to their goal. Your audience, the people that God has called you specifically to help, doesn't care about your logo. They don't care about your website. They don't care about how awesome you are on social media. They don't care that you made seven figures last year. They don't care. All they care about is can you help me. That's it. And so if your content, if your courses, if your products, if your emails, if your whatever it is, y'all, it doesn't matter if it is not addressing those two things, how to get them to their goal or how to relieve their pain. They're not going to listen. Your ministry is not, our business is not going to grow and ultimately wasting your time. There's two things that you need to focus on. Number one, what are their goals? This would be a good time to get out your phone in your notes section and list out my person's goals. What do they want? What do they need that they can't find? Where do they want to go? And just start brain dumping. I do this sometimes. I'll be like soaking in the tub and I'll just like, I'll pull it out. My ideal client's name is Katie and I'll pull it out. What does Katie want? What does she want out of life? Boom, 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 boom. I'll just brain dump. Sometimes I will call the many Katie's in my life and say, Hey Katie, like, what do you want out of life? What are your goals? What do you, what's your dream? And then from there, I start asking the Lord in prayer, how can I help Katie? 
get to this goal? How can I help Katie get to this thing that she's called to? How can I help Katie accomplish this task? How can I help Katie? And this is going to be where your products come from. The second thing is on the opposite spectrum is what are their struggles? What are their pain points? What is preventing them from doing the said goal, the dream life, the calling? What's preventing them from getting them there? List it out. Another fun idea is to put this as a sticky note on your desktop so that you're constantly seeing it anytime you try to say something, write something, build something, create content, create products, whatever it is, everything that you do in online business from here on out has to come from these two things. You're either getting them closer to their goal or you're solving their problem that's preventing them from getting to their goal. So if you want more of a detailed kind of client profile worksheet where I help walk you through like what's the name of your girl what or person what does she do for a living what does she um struggle with what are her intrinsic struggles what are her external struggles you really want to nerd out here and really get to the depths of her soul to help her get to where she is and where she wants to be to help her fulfill her calling in life if that is something that you're interested in i have a worksheet for you it's inside the ultimate beginner's guide to online business all right. And so it's totally free. All you have to do is click the link below and grab the guide. In um, the second section, we talk all about building a brand. And this is one little part about building a brand that will last for the long haul. So I hope this video was helpful. The online business guide will be super duper helpful, especially if you are one of those tangible people like me who like to write it out and to have more uh, opportunity to do that. So go ahead and grab the guide below. Pray for your person before you start. Think about who she is. Think about her goals, think about her struggles and get inside of her heart and her mind and then ask Lord how you specifically were created to help her get out of her struggle and get her closer to her goal. So I hope this video was helpful and if you're ready, I will see you inside of the guide.